Hello, welcome to Max Tutorial. This is Proudly Nigeria. I'm Mark Cecilia. Happy viewing. Today I'll be focusing on functions. In Excel, there are different categories of functions. We have the financial function, date and time function, math and trigonometry function, statistical function, lookup and reference function, database function, text function, logical function, information function, user defined function, engineering function, cube function, compatibility function, and web function. These are the categories of function in Excel. Our focus today will be on lookup and reference function specifically with lookup and reference function we'll be dealing with vlookup function here in this spreadsheet we have um, sales report 2016 2018 for maxcomputers.ng we are trying to regenerate data we assume that the prices for this product has been constant over the years and they want to fill out the prices for the products made by sales representatives. The time consuming way to go about it is to fill in the prices one after the other. But we want to do this with the help of VLOOKUP functions. Like every other function, it starts with an equal to, followed by the function name, that's VLOOKUP. And the description of the VLOOKUP function says, looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. So I'll explain as we go further. The function in VLOOKUP then an open parenthesis. The first argument we'll be encountering after the open parenthesis is lookup value. What value are we looking up? We are looking up the products. So I go to the first sales and the product is mouse i click on mouse and a comma it asks us our table array a table array is referring to the lookup table and the lookup table is this portion of table beside the data so i'll simply highlight the table after highlighting the table the next thing is to put a comma it asks for the column index number it is referring to the lookup table which column should it retrieve the data from and what is the column index number we are retrieving the data for prices and for this table this is column one and this is two so i'm going to type two then a comma and the last thing is range lookup it wants to know know whether we are getting the exact value or not and in this case we are looking for the exact value mouse so i'm going to choose false and close the parenthesis i want you to note that on the lookup table the value for the product should be arranged in an ascending order to ensure that you have get an accurate result so once i'm done i click on country enter it simply says that the price for mouse is 750 and if we look up we have our mouse and we have 750. i come to the fill handle of the cell containing the formula we just created and double click and it presents us with data you can see that most of this data says hash na meaning not available why are we having this issue here this is because of what we call cell referencing we are referencing the particular table you can see in this first formula the lookup table or the table array is I5 to J17. But if I go down to some other cell that has not available, it tells me that the lookup table is I10 to J22 and that's not true. So to correct that error, I'm simply going to use what we call absolute reference. It is essential you use absolute reference where you don't want the cells to be relatively called or referenced i highlight the second argument that represent the table array 
rather than typing the dollar sign before the column letter and the roll number i simply click on f4 it automatically creates what we call an absolute reference and i click on my country enter to make that particular cell active to correct those errors i'm going to double click the fill handle again and the correct data are presented you can see and if you look out here your mouse is 750 if i look further down let's say if, um, modern let's see if our modern is 52 our modern is 52 another way to present the table array simply select the columns that contains your table array but to use this method you have to be sure that there is no other content on those columns so what i'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight the two column entirely so what you'll be seeing for your table array is i to j and i'm going to use my country enter key then double click the fill handle and we have the same result so this is how to use the lookup function thank you i hope you enjoyed the video hi i'm marque cecilia any suggestion, correction, or comments that will help make this video interactive and informative is highly welcome. Kindly like or subscribe to this video. You can as well make requests for video you would like to have on Excel. Thank you for choosing Max Tutorial. Proudly Nigeria.